setting up the two-legged uplift height adjustable desk is quick and simple. We're going to walk you through it step by step. For this demonstration, we'll be working on top of one of our Douglas fir desktops for added support. Let's get started. First, unbox all of your desk components and lay them out in front of you. This will make assembling your desk much easier. Once you're ready to go, you'll want to reach for those crossbar ends. Slide the center rails out from the crossbar ends and place them aside. We'll be using those later. Now align the lifting columns with the crossbar ends in the proper orientation, as shown here. And make sure they line up with the screw holes. Next, insert the four larger machine screws into the holes using the provided Allen wrench and rotate them a few times without fully tightening. We'll come back to that. Place the side bracket next to the leg. You'll want to face the longer end of the side bracket towards the front of the desk. Now, use four of the larger machine screws to attach the bracket to the leg and, just like before, use the Allen wrench to rotate the screws just a few times. Once you've inserted all eight screws, you can tighten each of them fully. Now, do the same process for the other leg. When you're done, grab those center rails we put aside earlier and place them down with the grooves facing inwards and with the thicker ends closer to the floor, just like you see here. Now you can bridge the two desk legs together by sliding the center rails through the end brackets. You'll want to grab the feet and tighten them to the legs in a crisscross pattern using the larger machine screws. Be sure that the longer ends of the feet face the same way as the longer ends of the side bracket. Next, place your uplift desktop on the ground with the underside up. Grab a friend if you need help. If you're unsure if your desktop is underside up, check to make sure the pre-drilled screw holes are facing up. Now place the frame on the underside of your desktop and make sure the longer ends of the feet and side brackets face the front of your desk. Look for the pre-drilled holes to the keypad. This indicates the front of your desk. You can now extend the legs out and align the side bracket holes with the pre-drilled holes or inserts on your desktop. Or just adjust the frame to your preferred width. It's really up to you. If you have a desk with inserts and you decide to change the location of the frame, make sure to use 5 8 inch number 10 wood screws to attach the frame. Next, make sure the included screws are no longer than the thickness of your desktop. With a drill or screwdriver, screw the frame to your desktop. Or if you receive a desktop with inserts, like our Ecotops, make sure to use a screwdriver. Once you've attached the frame, use the short machine screws to secure it by tightening the crossbar ends to the center rails. Now that you have a desk, align the keypad with the pre-drilled holes along the front edge of your desktop. Now screw it into place. The keypad can go on the right or left side of your desktop, it's up to you. Do the same with the control box. Just find the pre-drilled holes and screw it into place. Now let's plug in the components. Use the leg cables to connect each of the legs to the control box. Then connect the power cable and keypad cable to the control box. For cleaner wire management, wrangle your cables and route them along your desk frame to get an idea of where to attach your cable ties. Now use the cable ties to secure them in place. Stick the ties to the actual frame for better results. You can take your wire management even further with the Uplift Wire Management Kit and Modesty Panel available at upliftdesk.com. Grab a buddy and prop your desk right side up. Be sure to support both the desktop and frame legs when flipping the desk over. We're almost done. Now let's reset your control box. Once you've connected the control box to a power source, reset the control box by holding the down button until the desk reaches its lowest level and then rises slightly. At that point, let go of the button. You should see a number displayed on the screen. You can use the same procedure for the two button keypad. At this point, you can set your sitting and standing heights. Just raise and lower the desk to your desired height. Press the memory button, followed by the number you wish to set, and that's it. This feature is available only with the advanced keypad. And that's it. You're all set for sitting and standing. Congratulations, you're now a proud owner of an Uplift height adjustable desk.